What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Dan Becker here. Uh, we're doing a gear loadout uh, for just a two night trip here to Pictured Rocks, National Lakeshore, and the Upper Peninsula, Peninsula, <laughs> Peninsula, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> of Michigan. Uh, it is the end of June, so it's actually pretty warm out. Uh, right now it is about almost 70 degrees. So uh, it was a little bit cooler certain, certain parts of the day, that's why I got this on, but Wanted to walk through just what I brought because we're testing out some new gear and um, I haven't done a gear loadout in a really long time. So yeah, let's start off with the tent. Let's start off with the big three. Let's do that, all right? So for the big three, we got the tent here. Uh, this is the Durston X-Mid one person tent. And this thing only weighs one pound. Dyneema tent, extremely expensive. Uh, so if you are just starting out, I'm not gonna recommend this tent. You could find something else that's probably gonna be a lot less expensive. Uh, this is for guys that are a little more hardcore that go a lot, but it's a fantastic tent. And then for my sleep setup in here, we've got the, and I, I'm gonna open just, <laughs> probably be easier for me to show you B-roll of some of this stuff without letting a million mosquitoes in my tent because there's a lot of mosquitoes in my race. There's so many. There's a lot of mosquitoes. So. I'm using the Outdoor Vitals 30 degree uh, Stormloft quilt. Awesome quilt, fantastic quilt, perfect uh, for this type of year, for this type of year, <laughs> for this time of year, uh, when it can get a little bit cooler up here in the Northern UP. Underneath that, I've got the Big Agnes uh, Zoom. Uh, just slept on it for the first time last week. Or last week, hold on, <laughs> last night. <laughs> this is night two. And uh, I like it, it's really comfortable. Very lightweight for what it is. They say that it's uh, like a 4.5 R value pad. Um, but I've heard horror stories of this pad actually being cold, like having cold spots. It was too warm for me to experience any cold spots last night. But as far as comfort goes and lightweight and easeability, I like this. The valve isn't my favorite because it's only a one uh, port valve and I like the two ports or I like uh, valves that are self uh, they'll uh, stay deflating without you having to like stick a fork in it to hold it open when you want to deflate your pad. Um, and then I'm just using my standard pillow, the uh, Thermarest uh, cinch. This is the, I think this is the Mid medium, right? Yeah, I think this is a medium size one. I upgraded to the medium size one. I like the medium size one, it's really nice um, because it's just a little bit bigger and fluffier. Fun fact, he brings that on the plane now too. I do, I bring that on the plane. That is 100% fact. Oh, uh, as far as like uh, ditty bag stuff, let's see. Oh wait, didn't I say we'll do the big, we'll do the big, we'll, you. we'll end with the third, the backpack. It's a new backpack, we'll end with that one. So I uh, got the Hilltops bag, uh, Hilltops bag. <laughs> also close the, oh, you oh, can yeah, let the mosquitoes yeah, in. Yeah. Uh, the Hilltop packs, ditty bag, I've had this thing for a long time. They'll print anything you want. They printed my logo on here. Uh, and then it's just full of ditties from cables to battery banks to all kinds of stuff like charging cables. I'll show you the battery bank. I don't know if I showed anybody this yet, but this is the Nightcore. Oh gosh, we'll have to put the name of it on screen. I can't remember, uh, but it is a Nightcore. It's a- Some of the ports. <laughs> yeah, 10,000 10, milliamp hour battery. And this is supposedly the lightest weight 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank in the world. Uh, at least when they sent it to me, it was. Maybe it's not now. Uh, but it's nice. I like it a lot. It'll charge either a USB-C or regular USB. So that's kind of nice. Um, so that's really the only cool thing you'll want to see in here. I've just got a bunch of... What about the, uh, what the pump? Oh, the pump. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's not in the ditty bag. It's sitting over here. Uh, this is the Flexdale Tiny Gear um, Pump 2, I think this is. The second one. Uh, just a little bit different. A little bit design different. The... the uh, Air flows out the top instead of the side, and then it can hang. Now that's kind of nice. And then you could take, let's see, you could take this off and put it on the opposite end, and it becomes a vacuum, so you can like, you can, vac you can vacuum seal stuff. <laughs> on I mean, trail? <laughs> if you're into trail vacuum sealing, that is, you know? So you can do it. And it's still got the old uh, light on there. I think it's up to 400 lumens, that's nice. And uh, yeah, hang, so if you're wondering how you get this thing to hang, it just pops off the side like that. And then you just pop it back in. Hanging on a loop in your tent. This tent, the Durston tent, doesn't have a loop. I complained to Dan about that, by the way. Damn. I did, I gave him an earful. I gave him an earful, I was so angry. Watch our video with him it, if you I wanna see. I was angry, man, I let him have it, Dan Durston. 
Where's my uh, link for my headlamp? Damn. Anyway, okay. Uh, so that's what I've got. We're in the tent. All right, let's see. What do we got over here? Oh, let's start here. Let's go over here. Food bag. Another Hilltop Packs food bag. And for food, oh, if uh, if you're, uh, let me give you a little tip when you get to camp. Um, if you don't have a, an immediate spot to hang your food bag, at least keep it off the ground. Set it in your chair at a bare minimum because chipmunks will get into it even while you're setting up camp, especially here in the Midwest. So, they are brave. They are brave. They don't mess around. Uh, I've been rocking the pinnacle foods here, the good stuff. And then as far as a cook kit, this is sort of like my, this is like my hybrid cook kit. Uh, it's my own made up cook kit. It is the Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter pot. And then I stole this little lid off of my Soto 7, 700 or 750 pot. It's an aluminum pot, because I like this lid so much and it just snaps on here perfectly. And then you can uh, strain and you don't have to wrap a rubber band around it. You can sip, keeps hot things hot, cold things cold. Really nice, and it just, uh, when you're boiling, you just just set it on there like that. You can easily grab it, nice. And then I've got the uh, Soto Amicus stove here. Great stove, and we're just using canister fuel because the small canisters will fit inside of this cook kit here, which is really nice. As far as my spoon, this is my spoon. I don't even think they sell this anymore. Ozark Trail spoon. I think I bought this for like a dollar at Walmart. Chair. Same one I've had for pff, ever. I mean, years I've had this chair, probably four or five years. Somebody needs to make a new chair. All right, this thing's getting a little old. I can't believe another company hasn't come out with a better chair yet. So this thing weighs a pound, costs like 120 bucks or something brand new, which is ridiculous. But you know, if you want to sit in the back country, you gotta go big time. All right, um, as far as a filtration system, I'm using the Sawyer Squeeze. Right here, uh, we've done a ton of great videos with Sawyer, fantastic company. Um, every $10 you spend on a Sawyer product actually goes to give one person of the world clean water. So if you buy a Sawyer Squeeze, that's four people that will have clean water. So go check out some of our videos on that. And then uh, I haven't used this in like two years, maybe three. This is the Knock or Knock Vecto uh, water bladder. And this will hold two liters of water. And then, you know, you just fill it up with water and you can screw your Sawyer onto the end like this. And then you filter. You can just screw down there like that. And then you uh, squeeze the water through and you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Uh, what I like about this bag though is that you can, it's got a wide mouth on it. So you can scoop water out of a river very, very easily uh, without having to worry about how shallow the river is. And then you fold that top over like that that and then that'll be totally sealed up so really nice and then as far as like a camera bag I get asked a lot how I carry cameras on trail I use the hyperlight camera pod it's really expensive it's like almost a hundred dollars kind of ridiculous if you ask me but it'll hold a big DSLR camera uh, my microphone and then uh, we just throw the camera in the bag like that and then I can just quickly throw the camera or the mic on top. If anybody's wondering what kind of cameras we use, I bet you somebody out there is. It's the Sony a7S III and then this is the 16 to 35 G Master f2.8 lens. So that's what we use to film a lot of our videos and he uses the exact same camera except he uses a 24 to 105. 24 to 105, that's his favorite lens. So uh, it's the tried and true 24 to 105 workhorse. Okay, here we go. Now, the brand new backpack. I'm gonna go on on a limb and say this might be the best new backpack of 2023. Whoa. That's tough. That's tough to beat. There's a lot of great backpacks out there, some that I think are better than this backpack, but for the new ones of 2023, uh, this has been pretty good. And we've been using it for about two days so far. So, more of a first impressions. So I can't really say it's the best. <laughs> But I'm telling you, man, it's it's ticking up there. It's getting it's getting a lot of uh, notice from Dan Becker here because I've really liked using it so far. It is the new Outdoor Vitals. This is the CS40 Ultra. So this is a brand new backpack from Outdoor Vitals. Uh, it's made out of 
Ultra. <laughs> Gosh, I can't remember the name of the fabric. It's a competitor to Dyneema. I believe it's actually stronger than Dyneema. Uh, we'll put the specs up on screen for you. But it's essentially a ultralight, big open bag backpack. And uh, it's got a really great mesh back on here that just opens up really, really nice and large. I love that. And the frame in here is super nice too. Um, and so there's two bars that go straight down and they sort of flex as you're hiking. You see that? And which is really nice. So it'll arc and bend. And uh, I really, really like that. And they're sort of like wide for, uh, frame bars. Uh, let me see if I can pull one out. So I'll just pull it out a little bit. So it's sort of a, actually it's carbon, I believe this might be carbon fiber actually. I'll let you know if that's true or not, but really, really cool um, how flexible and nice it is. And so you can make this a frameless pack if you want as well. And then what I also really like about it is that the hip belt pouches are attached. That is a win. Thank you for doing that. And which also makes it very easy to open with one hand. And something that I thought was just a really nice touch, really cool for a look, is that they've got the inside foam here is red with that black sort of ripstop on the outside, which is really nice looking. So uh, a very cool backpack, super, super comfortable. And it's got load lifters, which some of the other popular backpacks like the uh, Hyperlite backpacks do not have load lifters. And a lot of people complain about that. But uh, I really like this pack a lot. So great pack. So this is the 40 liter. They may make a larger one. I'm not exactly sure, but there is spots for like trekking poles and you can uh, compress your backpack with these compression straps. Water bottle pockets are enormous, uh, really big, and they do have uh, ports to drain if you need it on the inside and on the water bottle pockets as well. Uh, yeah, it's been great so far. And it's also got a uh, strap on the top that is large enough that if you need to, you can strap on like a, a bear canister to the top of your pack. So that's really nice as well. So yeah, let's see what else we've got. Any other special stuff that I'm forgetting? Oh, uh, dry bag is my Hyperlite Mountain Gear. Just a large dry bag inside here because I wasn't sure how cold it was be. I got my Cumulus, uh, sort of like a parka pullover thing. Puffy, thing only weighs like four and a half ounces. Really, really nice. Uh, that's if it was gonna get colder. I just didn't know because Weather up here is always unpredictable. And then, uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, this is new too, which I haven't yet had a chance to really put it on. It rained a little bit, but not while we were hiking, so I didn't really need it at all. But this is the Z-Pax, <sighs> I can't remember the name of it. It's a Z-Pax rain jacket, we'll throw it on screen. This was something I was hoping to test out. I was kind of hoping it would rain. Um, but from what I've seen, a lot of people really like this uh, rain jacket, so. We'll see. And for Z-Pex to have pit zips is surprising because they're usually the ones cutting corners to make things as lightweight as humanly possible. And this thing's got pit zips. So a lot of people like pit zips. That's pretty great. So, uh, yep, the Z-Pex rain jacket. And then um, as far as a poop kit, you know, just the standard roll of toilet paper, sanitizer, and then my Seed Summit trowel here. Do you care about my trowel? Do you guys care how I dig a hole to poop in? Do you? Is that what your life is about? I hope not. <laughs> All right, and then uh, we've got uh, my medical kit, my medical bag, the Adventure Medical Kit 0.5, just stuffed with all kinds of goodies. Most of the stuff is from home because I've used most of the stuff that I bought uh, when I got that thing. So uh, as far as what I'm wearing, uh, this is new. This is just some Fall Raven thing. Mountain Hardware uh, pants and uh, Brooks Cascadia uh, shoes. These are uh, Gore-Tex shoes. Uh, the reason I wore these here is because there's a lot of mud here, a lot of water. So nice to have these. And uh, oh, one last thing. Uh, the tried and true Garmin InReach Mini to keep in contact with family, friends, location, SOS button in case you need it. We call emergency services. That's it. That's the load out here. I will put all of the weights of all of this on screen and I will tell you for the first time in probably two, three years, how much my backpack actually weighed. I will weigh it all for you and we'll put it on screen, but it's pretty lightweight. So that's it. If you like this video, make sure you uh, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and we will see you on the next one.